Hello everyone, my name's Kunda. I hope you've been doing pretty well over this whole damn panic. The last two years, especially the last six or seven months, it has been kind of rough for a lot of people. Kind of been socially isolated and we've had ample encouragement and for a lot of us ample opportunity to do so. Whether we like it or not, we might not feel like we want to, but a lot of other people are, and respect it or not, they're going to do what they're going to do. So, I haven't been feeling the best. Tiny bit lonely, and with all that opportunity to sit around at home, be distant from everybody, I've just been smoking a whole lot of weed leading up to New Year's. Since New Year's, I haven't. The plan isn't to quit, but it is to take a few months, kind of reevaluate things, get into some different habits, and hopefully be a little more balanced coming out of it. Gonna go until the obvious day, at least that's the plan. But for now, this video is a little bit more of a story time video. It's a bit of a New Year, New Me bullshit video too, but it's more of a story time video, so let's get into that. I don't know how many of you know what middle school is. I know junior high is the way more common way people generally go through school, but I had middle school. Middle school lasts from grade 6 to grade 8 here, and I don't really... None of my teachers left all that much of an impression in middle school, to be honest. I remember who they were. Don't remember very many of the assignments. One that does stick out, though. I'm pretty sure it was one of the most early assignments that we got in grade six. And what we were asked by the teacher was to write about a role model. For a lot of kids, that was probably pretty easy. Pick somebody, pick what you like about them and what you want to embody about them, and get it down, assignment done. I had writer's block, not on why I liked my role model, but on finding a role model. I have more or less never had any role models. It's, I, I would have liked to, but mm, nobody really filled that role for me. And it's, yeah, for, a lot of people, it might be their father or one of their parents. I never really liked my dad a whole lot. Being a boy at the time, I guess mom wasn't on my radar as a role model either. But yeah, didn't like my dad too much. Couldn't really figure out a role model to write about for that assignment. The teacher kind of tried to help me figure one out. Eventually, she just kind of told me to, like, eh, just fudge something, make something up, like, pick someone, whoever. So, more or less, that's what I did. I ended up picking Jackie Chan. He did his own stunts, or so that was his branding. Hard to know if it's true. Might be. Probably is. I might have preferred him more because of the Jackie Chan Adventures cartoon. That was... Really fun to watch at that age, but yeah, ended up writing about Jackie Chan. Never ended up finding anybody that felt more deserving even in the time since. There there might be a couple that I kind of look up to. Uh, I can... The one person who sticks out as somebody who is really cool, who I admire quite a fair bit, and who I think does a lot of really good work, is named Darren Porter. I've featured him in some of my videos in the past. You can go back and look at them if you want. But yeah, other than that, there isn't really, there's not much anybody. That said though, because of this whole new year, new me bullshit that a lot of people get into, there are a few things that I would like to do, especially having the time that I would normally put into smoking weed on my hands. So, three people and or courses that I would kind of like to take. I am broke as fuck. I am Twitch streaming. I make no money from it so far. And 
basically what I'm saying with this video is if any of these people or organizations would like to reach out to me in any of the ways and be like, sure, here, here's what we offer and you want to either review it or follow it and document the results. Sure, here it is. I'm not expecting that, but, you know, throwing it out to the universe. If any of these people feel like, you know, taking me up on it and helping me self-improve, that would be awesome. First of these people, Jack Splade. He is a anime enthusiast and fitness trainer. He's on YouTube, just look him up, Jack Splade, J-A-X, Splade. And, yeah, he's really cool. I need to be working on my fitness a little bit, and that would be probably the way to go about it for me. I should say now that even if I don't end up reach out to buy to any of these people, someday, hopefully, I will have money, and I do intend to do some, well, all of these programs, at least if at that time in the future they still seem beneficial to me. But yeah, Fitness Training with Jack's Blade is the first one. The second one, Luke Radowski and We Are Change. They have a media training program. I like what he and his organization and network do a whole lot. They, independent media is kind of the way things seem to be going. Mainstream media, not the most trustworthy. You can see where their agendas are. Kind of follow the money and see who the string pullers are or how they're being pulled, if you care enough to do it. But yeah, I've been trying and doing some independent media for a long time. It would be nice to do better, improve the quality of that, and doing the We Are Change program from Luke Radowski, that might be a really good way to do it. So that's the second one. The third one. There are... I've had an interest in Druidry for a fairly long time. Didn't have to go very far to grab this, the Druidry Handbook. I've read through it, I like it. I would like to do one of the courses through some of the recognized Druidic organizations. And if anybody wants to help me reach out, I may reach out on my own. But yeah, that is the other one of the three things that, you know, self-improvement might end up looking into. I hope to be making videos in the meantime. It's not just going to be this video and then me getting lit again in four months. But I, I do plan to get lit again in a few months, don't get me wrong. But I want to make content in between. I want to be a little more balanced coming out the other side of all this. And... That's kind of where I'm at right now. I wanted to give you guys a little bit of an update video. I hope you're all doing well, and I'll see you in the next one.